Every week, we scour the internet to find the most amazing, creative, and jaw-dropping content developed in Unity. This is Game Dev HQ, and enjoy the best of made with Unity. Leading off, this is Boxy. He's mad since he lost his arm, but manages to get around just fine from beans. Cheap Selective Water Reflection Shader by Freya. PDEV states, first game, first tweet. Not bad, you made the best of. Ollie creates an abstract neon vortex thingy. Florian Wolf finally got the loops to work. ERB Game Art shows off the new ranged ice spell effect. Nan made a hasty UI experiment for quickly tweaking primitive colliders in VR. Enter the wonderful works of Kitasenju Design. Please follow this brilliant developer to learn more. Andy Dubok's Radioacity is spellbinding. Andre recreated the HUD from Metroid Prime. Check out his videos at the link below. Here's an updated smash cut preview for Cloak and Dasher by Spirit Stone Studios. Marpy Studios says, hello world. AD is testing their new low poly racing sim. Need to get your chickens back in their pen? Try the new chicken whistle, patent pending by James. VR Shootouts by Murat. Water foam using Geometry Shader by Thomas.
Final Death animation is finally implemented by Retro Reactor. Andy Touch demonstrates the new 2D renderer, 2D lighting, and 2D shader graph. Sorb is working on these clouds in Super Cable Boy. Finally, Donatsu's been honing his energy and manifesting it into blasts by Dummy Dojo. This was the best of Made with Unity. Be sure to hashtag Made with Unity and we will do our best to share your creation with the entire game dev world. We are Game Dev HQ and we are out of here. See you next week.